Smith, you know, Dre Hwang, smiling there, as she always does. You know, Dre Hwang, recently, um, Yuli assigned as Ebbis of Robanchan in St. Louis, Missouri, in uh, the heartland of the US of A, and she's going to wrap up chapter six, the conclusion of humanistic Buddhism, holding true to the original intents of the Buddha. Okay, finally, who's got a we're here, the conclusion. Okay, so uh, in short, actually, uh, I can just put the conclusion like uh, it is all up above. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I have to do my job still. Okay, so uh, uh, I would like to rather stand so I don't like to glue my, uh, myself on the chairs. Okay, so actually, um, uh, for my interpretation or the summary of my con uh, the conclusion of this book this is really a great book okay uh, before that uh, I want to have a quick survey have you ever uh, who who has ever finished this the book already that's good no, or, or no not not English version but in other in Chinese okay good okay so just few right okay neither <laughs> I didn't finish it. Okay, uh, I just finished um, half of it. Okay, so um, actually, uh, for my mm, summary, okay, I think that the Venerable Master is doing the redirect. We, I call it redirect, red and reconnect. Okay. Actually, he is re uh, defining what is humanistic Buddhism, and he is redefining what is Buddhism. And so he got two a part. I, I think that redirect side, there's a redirect side is in theory. Okay. He's using the theory to direct us. Okay. Where are we going? And where is the future of the Buddhism? And reconnect. How can Buddhists okay, you know, connect with me or connect to the human beings? So that is a very, very good part and very, very important part for uh, in humanistic Buddhism. Okay. So, and I just you know simplify it from the, to like the, with five W's. Okay. Redirect is why, what, and where. Okay. Why do we have to invent a new term called humanistic Buddhism? And why do we have to take it. And what is that? What is humanist state Buddhism? And where we are heading to? Okay, so that is under the theory. Okay, so actually, a uh, federal master is constructing a theory, a house, or a basement for us okay, to live in. Okay. And in saying about reconnect, Actually, it is a bad practice. Okay. So we have done a lot. Okay. Fogon San has done a lot. Okay. We, we can, you know, from, from the all of above, <laughs> you have heard enough. Okay. So I don't have to mention that. Okay. So, so and how to do it? Okay. How, how, how we can, you know, uh, you know practice it? Okay. So next. So I would like to uh, talk about tackle on um, redirect and reconnect. Okay. So uh, I jot down some of this, uh, the some words from the conclusions. Okay. So actually, uh, from redirect, okay, the the Venerable Master said Buddha was born in the human world. Very very straightforward. So that is what is that he defined how he defined. What is Buddhism? Okay, and all Buddhas are on the same path. Okay, so actually, there's no, uh, there is Zen, there is uh, Tibetan, there is Theravada, but we can embrace all the practices. Okay, so next, and the future of Buddhism is only made possible with the power of all Buddhists united. Okay, so that is uh, the words from the. Venerable Master. Okay, so page 341, I also have the page numbers, so if you want to uh, take a look at it. 
Okay, so uh, and also I would like to to show you the the photo. This is the um, the short term a youth short term monastic retreat uh, hold, held in uh, Shilai Temple this year. Okay, so we have to uh, we have been doing uh, the Shilai Temple has been doing this for uh, several years. Okay, so you see the the uh, the boys not no the novice. <laughs> Not this, okay? And they are playing very happily, okay, with the uh, two sticks. Okay? So it it requires the cooperation of everybody who stands on those two sticks. So actually, in, in order for it, them to move, they have to, you know, do it together. Okay. So all it should be everyone's effort. Okay. So next. HB means uh, stands for humanistic Buddhism. <laughs> you know, humanistic Buddhism is centered on the three jewels and the fundamental teachings. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so uh, like uh, there are independent uh, origination, dependent originations, okay, and and uh, four noble truths and so on, etc. Okay, so this one is the theory. Okay, so what is our faith? How, how can we how can we put the teachings? Where is the teachings? Where are we going to put in the teachings? So actually, it, it is the core. Okay, so all the teachings, fundamental teachings, are the core of humanistic Buddhism teachings. Okay, so next. And humanistic Buddhism must be centered on humans and help them discover happiness, safety, and transcendence in addition to perfections of their character. Okay, this is uh, Fo Guang uh, cheerleaders. Okay, Fo Guang la la de, okay. So you must be very, you know, amazed that oh, we really have a cheerleaders. Okay, uh, that, uh, you know, includes not only the, you know, college students, but also the, the little guys there and the, the seniors over there. Okay, and what do we call it? Tama, right? Okay, Tama over there. Okay, so <laughs> and so actually, we are we can, you know, like uh, we call it halo halo, right? In the Philippines, <laughs> yeah, there is a something that is uh, uh, the ice, uh, you know, sugo being like a halo halo, yeah, okay. So, halo halo, everyone can enjoy, okay, so. <laughs> So next, so in terms of reconnect, okay. So what is how to connect humanistic Buddhism or the teaching of the humanistic Buddhism with me? Okay. So actually, it is the unity of human and Buddha, and so it is kind of like affirming uh, my nature, affirming of me, affirming of my Buddha nature. So a Buddha comes from a perfected human. Humans are Buddhas to be. Next, humanistic Buddhism is what was taught by the Buddha, needed by human beings. That which purifies and which is virtuous and beautiful. Right? So that that is the answers in brief. That uh, replied by the venerable master. Okay, to Gao Xi Jin Jiang, the professor of uh, Gao. Okay, so next. And the achievements and innovation of Formosan over the past decades actually is also the reconnect. Okay. So actually, I'm not focusing on the, the panelists here. <laughs> this is not the focus. Okay. But the, the focus they carry, okay, that is the, our report. Our report. Okay, Fo Guang San. Okay, so actually, what we have done in Fo Guang San is more important than this big, this these two guys, <laughs> Biku and Bikuni. There. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next. So actually, the summary. Actually, we come come to the summary. Is page three, four, six. You see the booklets over there. I think this one is um, this is only the beginning. The, the, this book is the book is the beginning. So how can we expand it? Okay. Is actually is in the conclusion. 
So you, you see the bullets over there, three, four, six, four, three, six, four, I forgot. Oh, sorry, it's three, four, six, it's two, three, six, four, it's not three, four, six. Okay, so three, six, four. So there is the summaries. So I think this is a very important one, right? that uh, the, the venerable master conclude in this chapter. Okay? So we can expand it and we can prove it okay? by our practice and by what we have done okay? in every location and in every temple there. Okay? okay, so next. Okay. So I would like to um, share my my experience because in this chapter, Venerable Master sharing his own life about how he uh, redefined what is Buddhism right, into humanism Buddhism. And I would like to, uh, this is uh, some of the insights that I, I got it from these chapters, including the bigger your heart, the greater your success is. Buddhism lies in me. And the spirit, uh, spirit of humanistic Buddhism involves these worldly undertakings with an otherworldly mind. Okay, so that's the uh, So I would like to uh, share some my insight. Okay, and so what in brief is Buddhism? Okay. So um, there was um, there was a Bhikkhuni. <laughs> okay. The, who's uh, now in charge with in Ch uh, Chicago, IBBS Chicago, Manku Fasi, Benbo Manku. She gave a talk in St. Louis, and she emphasized on um, how to reply right, on those, who, those questions that uh, raised. Okay. So there are some uh, what questions being often raised uh, by other people who doesn't know uh, humanistic books, especially the teachings. Uh, by verbal master Shin Rin. Okay, so uh, there's a song challenge. So people ask, uh, uh, verbal master's teachings is really simple and really sometimes they call it shallow. Okay, so that is their comment to the teachings. And the, and the reply by Manpu, verbal Manpu is that that is because if you you think that Verbal Master Xing Yun's teaching is shallow because your understanding of Buddhism is not deep enough. <laughs> okay, so so I think this uh, uh, this is a great book. In conclusion, if you have uh, ever under uh, you know skim through or read it uh, one more time, okay, please read it one more time and. Uh, you know, really carefully, and really you have to contemplate when or stop by in every sentence or any sentence, any chapters when you are reading it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Emma Kiruvan, for wrapping up on that last part of the text, that last chapter.